Let's work with algebraic symbol manipulation. For example, let's solve the following equation for f. Right now we have c is equal to something and we want to manipulate this equation to get f is equal to something instead. And we'll begin by multiplying both sides of the equation by 9 fifths in order to get rid of this fraction here. That is, we have 9 fifths times c is equal to 9 fifths times 5 ninths times f minus 32. And 9 fifths times 5 ninths is 1, so these fractions will cancel. which leaves us with 9 fifths times c is equal to f minus 32. And now we'll add 32 to both sides of the equation, which gives us 9 fifths times c plus 32 is equal to f minus 32 plus 32. And negative 32 plus 32 will cancel. They add together to give us 0, which leaves us with f is equal to 9 fifths times c plus 32, which would be our answer. By the way, these are the equations that we use to convert between Fahrenheit and Celsius temperatures. All right, let's see another example. Let's solve the following equation for y. What we can do is we can start by multiplying both sides of the equation by this denominator here, y minus 3, which gives us x times y minus 3 is equal to 3y plus 2 divided by y minus 3 times y minus 3. And now the y minus 3 is on the right will cancel. And we are assuming here, of course, that y does not equal 3, which leaves us with x times y minus 3 is equal to 3y plus 2. And now let's distribute this x to both of these two terms, which gives us x times y minus 3x is equal to 3y plus 2. Now remember that we want to solve this equation for y. So let's bring all the y's to one side and everything else to the other, which gives us x times y minus 3y is equal to 2 plus 3x. And now we'll factor y out of both terms on the left, which gives us y times x minus 3 is equal to 2 plus 3x. And now let's divide both sides of the equation by x minus 3, and the x minus 3's on the left will cancel, and we're assuming here, of course, that x does not equal 3 which leaves us with our answer of y is equal to 2 plus 3x divided by x minus 3. And this is how we algebraically manipulate an equation to solve for a variable. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.